Well, there's a new synthetic drug on the market called 25I, or N-bomb. Chances are you've never heard of it. Neither did an Austin woman. But it changed her life forever. Full of hope and joy, Lisa Thomas wrote her son a note on graduation day. I was excited for him. It said to my son Chandler, today is your graduation day from high school. Wow, how proud I am of who you are and what you will become in this new exciting phase of your life. He was just the most endearing boy with big dimples, um, just precious, loved his mama and his dad. The note also came with a little warning as he prepared to go off to college in Arkansas. She wrote, please remember that each decision you make affects tomorrow. Tomorrow came sooner than anyone thought. Just a few weeks before Thanksgiving break of Chandler's freshman year. My brother was being rushed to the um, emergency room and they couldn't tell me if he was okay or not. Like I had no clue if he was alive or not. So then I like went into panic mode and called my mom. I received a phone call. I scream in the middle of my parents' house and say, you know, there's been accidents on the way there. Lisa and Madison drove 11 hours from Austin to Fayetteville. An ER nurse gave Lisa an update. She said, um, your son has been brought in here. Um, he is having um, seizures and um, his body temperature is um, 106. The seizures lasted five hours. We don't know what he had taken. I knew nothing. Toxicology tests baffled the doctors. Everything's coming back negative. Everything's coming back inconclusive that early on. Um, they have no idea. Madison and her mother will never forget seeing Chandler in the ER for the first time. I just remember walking in and like, shaking and then I just like broke down. There's no way that's him. I mean, there's no way. Then Chandler's friend showed up to the hospital and told Lisa Chandler met a stranger and bought a new drug from him called 25i. These doctors, seven specialists, infectious disease, neurologist, hospitalist, internist, I, I mean, I can't even name his entire team, had never heard of this drug. 25i, also called N-bomb, or Smiles, is synthetic LSD. It's sold on the streets like this on colorful blotter paper that's been dipped with the chemical, with each tab going for about 10 bucks. In some cases, the mixture can be 66 times more powerful than LSD. It's showing up in Dallas, and recently sent three teenage girls to the emergency room in Virginia. Starts off as tachycardia, fast heart rates. Starts off with a lot of sweating, maybe even some nausea and vomiting. But ultimately, it will lead to very aggressive, violent behavior, and, um, and ultimately will lead to death. There was so much brain damage, but I mean, he never talked, he never spoke a few times. He would try to touch my face, you know? 21 days later, she was at Chandler's bedside, praying for him with her pastor on the phone. All of a sudden, I just see all this movement over here, and it's my parents and Robin. And Chandler's heart rate, and I hear them saying, you know, 86, 50, 21. And it's, uh, as Randy's praying with me, Chandler's heart rate, his heart stopped. Remember that graduation note? She also wrote, I know God has such a path carved out for you that none of us have any idea how grand it will be. I love you with all my heart, Mom. Lisa says that plan includes her. Now she's on a crusade with her daughter, Madison, to make sure kids and teens know. You are worth more than a $10 drug and just one choice can completely change you, your life forever. We have to get the word out. We have to put fear in these teens because they're not invincible. 
Now with the help of two students from Hyde Park High School, Lisa Thomas launched a program she hopes turns into a movement against drugs. It's called SOS, Students Opposing Substances. That's valuable information for parents and their teens. She also has an amazing story about Chandler that she posted on YouTube that has gone viral. We have links to this YouTube video, her SOS page, and more in the big blue eye section on KITV.com. It might save someone's life.